Welcome to a tutorial from Equator.com. This tutorial covers Casio Scientific Calculators FX115ES and Casio FX991ES plus C. Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we are going to use this Casio calculator to uh, find percent value. The question can be posed in three main ways. One would be is that 20% of 3200 is what value? So find the 20% of 3200. The second way the question will be posed is 20% of X is 175. So 20% of what number, what value is 175? And the third way would be what percent of 650 is 89? So these are the three, because we have three things. The question could be about this, could be about this one, or could be about that, this one. As you can see in our first question, that is 20% of this, so 20% of x is 125, so here we don't know this value, so we are going to find it. For the first term, we have a solution in the calculator, so we can do it, but for the second and th third ways of these questions, we have to do a little simple math. So what we do is 32, 3200 times 20%, so what we do is we type 20, and then we type percent. This percent is pressed with shift. So we got 640. Or we can do it the other way, 20, and then times 3,200, and then percent, shift with percent. So it doesn't matter in either ways, you get 640 and that will give you the answer. Now let's go for the second way the question will be asked. In this case, you will be asked to find 20% of some, let's say, you are asked to find 20% of X is 175. So what is this one? So how we write it is, because this 20% is this much, so this is relating to that, so how I write it is, 20% over 175 equals, now this x amount, at the numerator write the percent, so we write the percent here, that is the full amount which is 100 and then x. So 20% related, 20% over 75, 100% over x. Now, once we write it in this way, then we, what we do is we do cross multiplication. Numerator of one uh, value but multiplied by the denominator of the second one and the same for the other one. So, x times 20. So, x times 20 is equal this multiplied by that. So, x times 20, I wrote it here, and then equal sign. Uh, 175 times 100. Now, now we have this one, solve for x, divide both sides by 20. These two cancels, so we got 175 times 100 divided by 20. Now we can use a calculator. In this calculator, we can use it as fraction, so put the fraction 175 times 100 divided by 20. So as you can see, it's 875, and it makes sense because 20% of 875 is 175. So this is very small, so this x by default must be big because the 20% is this value. Now, let's do the third way that a question might be asked. Okay, so in this case, you are asked to to find the X percent of 650 is 89. So what percent was it? So this is the same like the previous question. This is related to this. That percent is this much. That percent of this 
is this one. So this percent over this. So x percent over 89 equals this is the whole amount. So 100 percent is 650. So as you can see, we have only one unknown. This method will work will work only when you have one unknown. So x times 650. So x times 650 equals. So I multiply this by that. I wrote it here. 89 times 100. 89 times 100. Now to isolate or solve for x, I divide both sides by 650. This 650 cancels with this one. So x is 89 times 100 divided by 650. Let's use the calculator. 89 times 100 with arrow come down and then 650. So I press this button to get the fraction. So that is 13.69%. So thirteen, per, so x x percent was eighty nine. So we found out that thirteen point six nine, or about thirteen point seven percent of six hundred and fifty, is eighty nine. This was a tutorial from Equator.com. Uh, thank you for your attention.